paid his dues and he climbed the rankings. And same can be said for Osing. Great football player. All these Albia kids that you'll see here wrestling today, folks, they're all football studs, too. Up and down the lineup. They were there at uh, the Unidome. Yep, they sure were. We they working our way up to 160 now. That's where Albia's quarterback is, but he got upset in the last round. Well, I'm not really upset when, when you get beat by uh, Holschlag from uh, Union. That's not an upset, but tough loss for Leshen. As for the matches right now, though, at 152, the other 52-pound match is uh, Thomason of Sergeant Bluff, Luton, and Johnston from ADM. They're on mat number five. It's 3 nothing right now. Oh, they just let him go. Thomason trailing 3-1. to one. Thomason, as we mentioned, knocked off Drew Buster of Mediapolis. Bush under a minute. Period number three on mat number four. Bush on top. Trying to fit, he's trying to get Osing on. Skopik's gonna hang on to that down there, and he's gonna get the victory. Look at that, he does. Big win for Skopik. He advances on over Erickson, and I'm sure the Davenport Assumption fans are pleased with that. Puts Erickson on the backside. Consolation round. Big win for Skopik. Again, a two-time place winner. A great program up there at Spirit Lake with all those minors, the, the brothers that were all champions and runner-ups. Tough program. Kenny Bush, top position right now. 38 seconds left to go in this match. He's at one and nothing, so he's got to continue to keep trying to ride Osing here of Albia. There's a stalemate. 30 seconds left to go. You're going to see, oh, one point technical violation. Oh. Oh. I didn't see what it was, but one point red. So one point's going to go to Osing for a technical violation by Danny Bush. So that's going to tie it up one to one. So now instead of riding him out to win, you got to ride this, ride him out to keep it tied and go into overtime. Yeah. Bush excited about the call. Referees explaining to Danny what I think he actually did wrong. Danny might <laughs> not even know what he did wrong. Might have been a figure for the body. I'm not really sure, but Albia's coach down there too, talking to the referee. Yeah, Coach Wenger wants to know what's going on. All, the, all you guys talking about it. What exactly? Now it's 2-0. Oh, it's a point they, for... They, they initially, everything was going Bush's way, and then they reversed it. Well, then that means that uh, right. Osing had to have, underneath, had to have yeah. to do something. We've got a technical violation, maybe grabbed a singlet, pulled a, pulled, you got to have at least four fingers, maybe only had two or three from underneath when he's trying to get hand control. Hard to see from up here exactly what happened. I don't even think Osing's Not a lot of fireworks about it, though. I mean, it must have been pretty clear, but it's a 2-0 lead for Bush now. Well, that comforts it a lot more. Now he could give up the escape. Now just not a reversal. You always say one, not two. So it looks like it's going to be Danny Bush, the coach's son, Pete Bush's son, in the finals for Davenport Assumption to give him their third finalist. So Bush moves on. Big win over Griffin Osing of Albia. The number four ranked wrestler, Danny Bush, is in the finals. And 160 right now, too, 23-13, uh, as you see, it's about 5-0 lead with uh, Sorensen and Holsack from Union LaPorte. Sorensen, a long line of uh, the Sorensons from Forest City, tough wrestling family. Holschlag here, he's the one who, who knocked off uh, Brett Leshen in the quarters to get here. This is a number four versus number nine matchup. Six nothing lead for Holschlag over Sorensen. Another Minneapolis athlete coming out on the mat at 170 pounds. That's Adam Drain, 34 and three senior. He's taking on Trey Ryan of Mount Vernon, 45 and four senior. They're on the black mat, mat number five. Now Ryan Tough, he's second place finisher last year at 160, also sixth uh, the year before that. But Adam Drain last year as a champion, he was third as a sophomore, seventh as a freshman, going for his, to be a four-time place winner. He's got a broken hand, Mark. He's got that hand all wrapped up, and it's really affected him. His first round match was two to one with a kid that, you know, he thought was a little bit inferior to him. Well, for sure, you get a broken hand, your hand's all taped up. You wouldn't believe, you don't really realize how much you use your fingers and your hands in the sport of wrestling until you take them away from you. 
That's a, that's a big, big handicap. Yeah, this can be a huge uh, repeat for Drain if he can get through this. You're watching 2A semifinal action here on the Fairway Foods Championship Network. Mark Ironside, Bob Selby, along with Alan DeBolt. And uh, great wrestling action, as you see on the screen. Four mats going at the same time here at the uh, Wells Fargo Arena. And uh, good action down on map number five right now. Yeah, with Adam Drain. 29 seconds left in the first period. Drain and Ryan of Mount Vernon. We'll clear up to 182 on mat number three. And that's our only, if that's our only 182, it, we're up to Riley Haskin and Cash Wilkie. Go to Bold Arthur, Battle Creek, Ida Grove. Number one ranked wrestlers, Wilkie. We also have the 70 pounders down here. Uh, you see on mat four, the opposite side of Adam Drain. Down here is Trevor Frain from Creston. He's going to seek some medical attention there, stopping the match. We'll get a pause on mat number four. Now it's Frain versus Tyler Lutz of BCLUW, Conrad. Number down, two versus number eight. Down here on mat number six, this is match is over now. And that is going to be Hoshlag of the Port City Union getting a win there over Source in a Forest City. Third period with 45 seconds to go, but he gets a match termination, so he's up by 15, wow. 16 to zero. So they stop that match. The Hosh leg of the Port City Union is going to join teammate Max Thompson into the finals tonight. So two finalists so far for Union, and also, you know, they don't get a lot of mention, Mark, but Union sitting fourth in the points. They don't have as many finalists as Assumption, Minneapolis, and Albia, but they do have kids winning, so they're going to be in the mix. They may be a little bit farther out than they can contend, but you never know. That third place uh, trophy's there. Yep. 